Hey everybody, it's Professor Klein here bringing you another human anatomy video. I'm coming from my own office on Ohio University's campus in Athens, Ohio. And today I want to talk to you about bowstringing of the tendons in your forearm and wrist. We're also going to answer the question of what is the flexor retinaculum and the extensor retinaculum and what role do they play in preventing bow strain. All right, so if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get started. All right, and when I'm talking about bow stringing of the forearm muscles, I'm talking about these muscles or these muscles right here, the muscles that are in or extrinsic that travel from your forearm all the way down to your hand. Maybe they go to your fingers, maybe they go straight to the, the carpal bones here, but they are essentially traveling like the length of these pipe cleaners. Now, if I didn't have what's called a flexor retinaculum, which is a piece of connective tissue right here on top of these tendons, and I want to contract these tendons, here's what those tendons would do. They would bowstring. So notice how I flex. It almost makes like a bow and arrow. It, those tendons pop out of my wrist themselves. But if I have a flexor retinaculum, which is this right here, which I'll use a piece of tape to represent and put it on my own wrist. So that would be like a flexor retinaculum right there. Now when I go to flex my wrist, notice how there's no bowstringing and those tendons stay pushed or rather held closely to my wrist. That is the main function of the flexor retinaculum and the extensor retinaculum. This black piece of tape would represent the extensor retinaculum on the posterior side of my forearm. That also prevents against bowstringing on the posterior side and the anterior side. All right, that was your quick video on what is bowstringing in the muscles of the forearm and the wrist. I'm gonna remove this tape. Thanks for watching.